Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video it's going to be a weekly haul. I had posted two previous videos so I kind of split it up into three just so they weren't all too too long. Um, this is going to be a variety of brands here so we have Majorette, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Ertl and Disney. We'll go over all of them. We have various scale sizes to cover. Let's get started. First up we're going to start with Hot Wheels. So I just want to show you these. I believe I did um, preview one of these already in another video. This is the um, HW Fun Park Bump Around. It is the uh, basic treasure hunt um, for this case. So I was able to find uh, two of these. So we picked them up. They're just a regular basic line. So metal body, plastic base, plastic tires. But um, it is, you can see the Circle Flame logo there. And you can see the case on the back that this is out of. And anything else you may want to pause on. So like I said, I was able to get um, um, two of these. Um, they were just sitting on the peg, so we grabbed those. Next two vehicles um, are the same. There's nothing special about these. I collect Volkswagens, as I've mentioned, so um, of course I pick these up when I see them. But I was basically just showing these because I prefer the long cart over the short only for the fact that I like the image work. So you can see on a long card, you can see the full vehicle and on this one here, it is covered by the, um, the vehicle. So my personal preference, and just to sh so you can see the difference between the two, I would personally like the long cards, but some people only collect the short cards. But um, they're a neat little vehicle. I don't know if I previewed this, but the uh, Volkswagen Type 2 pickup. So, very cool, all metal. If you like Volkswagens, kind of a must have. It's part of the HW art, art cars, um, one of 10. And on the back, if you wanna see the case, it's all there for you. Last Hot Wheels piece we have is going to be the Track Stars. So, this isn't a, re um, you know, a new release or anything like that, but I got this, we're gonna do um, a little bit of a track time video here so once we get the track set up we'll do a bit of a video on that and these cars will be the ones going down the track I showed the track in a previous video um, I don't do too much track stuff but I thought uh, my daughter really wanted to try it so I thought well what the heck we'll buy a track and some cars and we'll give it a whirl and see what happens but those are the cars that are in here and these are specifically designed best for track up next we have Majorette. Um, we have a few vehicles here to cover. This is all fairly recent stuff, um, available mostly at just the Walmarts really here. Um, these were on clearance, that's why I picked them up. Um, these are a bit more expensive than a Hot Wheel, but they're basically the same with metal body, plastic base, and plastic tires. They do feature a little card that you get that displays what the vehicle is. So this is the Audi R8. And then the vehicle. Some of these are nice because they do uh, feature opening parts. But you can see here it's relatively basic to what you'd see in a Hot Wheel. But you're going to pay like three times the price for it. So I don't normally collect them unless it's a vehicle that I really, really want. You can see all the cars in the set. Is there anything else you want to pause on? These should be around uh, 2016 or 2015. Oh, 2015. Next up, we have the Chevrolet Camaro. So, very nice artwork on the little card that you can take out when you open it, and as well on the vehicle. So you can see the Camaro logo on the fender. It's got the yellow stripe on the hood. These do feature, you can see the Chevy symbol, tampo work for the lights, as well as headlights and the Chevy symbol there in the front. And it features opening doors, which is kind of nice to see in this scale size. But all metal, um, body, plastic base, and plastic tires. So the first one was Series 2. This is uh, Series 3. And these are the vehicles that are in Series 3, which we have a few of those here. All right, next one up. Mercedes AMG GT. Now this is actually a pretty cool car. So I don't mind picking this one up, and it was just a couple bucks. Again, Series 3. But you can see the paint on it. It's 
really cool. It's got like a really nice shine to it. You see the rear light decos, the Mercedes symbol, opening doors. Attention to detail on these is pretty good. I just don't see the big price change from a Hot Wheel to this. Again, the same on the back. And the next one up, Dodge SRT Viper. So again, you can see the nice artwork on the card. Very nice, deep, almost, uh, it's gonna be a purple. Pretty popular for the Viper. Again, rear lights. I believe this one does feature opening doors as well. But has headlights, the Dodge symbol, the famous black stripe down the, the lighting is good. You can see the stripe there, it's on the hood. But very nice representation of the uh, Viper. And the last one here for these is going to be the Jaguar F-Type. Also a very cool car. Um, Series 3 again. You can see the paint on it is very, very shiny, um, like a metallic type of paint that they used. Um, nice headlights there, Jag symbol, rear lights, opening doors again. Pretty cool little casting. Again, all metal, plastic base, plastic tires. And that's the ones that are all available. These are in Walmarts now. They've been out for a while. They must not be selling. They are clearing them, like I said. So if you want any of these, you should get out and grab those sooner than later. All right, the last major that I have is going to be the um, fire department, the uh, truck, and the trailer. So I just played this in another video. Now this is um, a little bit of a newer one. Um, but this is going to be in relatively good shape. There's a couple little nicks, but other than that, it is mint. Nothing is plastic is broken. Everything is all intact where the other one was missing it. It's a majorette, 187 scale, made in France. So these feature metal cab, metal frame, and then this piece down the center is plastic with plastic tires. But this is overall in mint condition for what it is and then for the back part so if you watched the previous video on these um, this plastic piece was broken off and the ladder was missing so this is all intact and in mint condition as well there's really not even any marks or anything on these so this piece is commonly broken and obviously the the ladder. As you can see here, made in France. This is number 612, 187 scale. And this is nice because this part does extend, it twirls, and then the, um, the ladder does extend if I can get it to come out. So you can see here, you can slide it out. That's pretty cool that it's all there and it all works and nothing's broken. It's hard to find them. These small ones, they're often played with by kids and then they get broken. But this is basically a mint condition, which I'm very happy to have it. You can see the logo on this says district number two. So this is going to be a little bit of a newer release compared to the other um, stuff that was more of a vintage that you saw. But you do want to be careful. Like I mentioned in the previous video, some of these are plastic and some are metal this hitch is plastic. So when you are latching these together, they slide in and, and uh, lock in. But you wanna be careful because that piece will snap off. All right, we have two pullbacks here. The first one is, a, it's die cast though. The top is die cast and this part here, the bottom is actually made of plastic. But it's of course a Volkswagen van, so Nicely detailed vehicle here. Um, it was included in a lot that I bought, so it's not a bad thing to get. No opening parts in this. There is a little hatch that opens um, back here, but it's not really a detailed interior or anything like that. So, but no opening doors on this model. But uh, 
pretty neat. You see the Volkswagen symbol on the rims and it does have an interior, it's just not heavily detailed. So you can see this um, here is a Volkswagen Classic bus 1962. Scale is 132. And like I said, it is a uh, pullback. So those are kind of hard to find these days. The next one up, if anybody likes the older Honda Civics, um, I just picked this up. It's it's actually uh, plastic. It does have rubber tires though. Um, it's uh, not quite a pullback, but it has a, uh, a feature here I'll show you. But rubber tires, old school Honda Civic, anybody that's into that. You got the low rider on the back, and then it actually features a pullback here. like your old style uh, pullback. Kind of neat. I think it was like a dollar or something like that. That's the only reason why I got it. But anyone that's an uh, import fan and likes the old Honda Civics, it's kind of cool. But I think I'll stick with collecting my Volkswagens. Alright, we got a couple Matchbox. These are actually all the same, but they're the MBX Road Trip Edition 05 Jeep Gladiator. So we'll go ahead and crack one of these open so you can take a look at it. I'm not a big fan of Jeeps, but this one was kind of cool. So uh, features uh, all metal body, plastic base, um, big off-road tires you can see there. Um, there's the base, um, detailed, but got pretty cool rims on it it's got the big spare tire there it does actually have a see-through window with interior and the box kind of cool to see a, a, a Jeep with a, um, a bed in the back but I picked up a couple of these so this one will go on the display case but I just thought I'd show you these are available at Walmart's um, anywhere that basically carries these any toy stores really but um, pretty neat um, these are a little bit more expensive. They're in the uh, old style retro boxes. Um, they're gonna be in the, about the dollar fifty range for these. Um, typically, Matchbox cars are in the uh, the dollar range, but overall, pretty cool. All right, up next are just a couple Disney vehicles. I did just um, show in a previous video these ones. These are from Toys R Us. They've been putting them in these packaging and selling them for about three dollars a piece. So we'll just go down the lines here quick if anyone's into the Disney vehicles. We got Fishtail, pretty cool uh, Wild Bill Racing, pretty neat little casting there. Pushover, again you can see that this is all from the um, Derby series, um, the move like in the movie. Uh, Jimbo, again as you can see it's all smashed up from being hit in the Derby. Um, but. If you're into these vehicles, it's not a bad time to go to Toys R Us and pick them up just because of the price point on them right now. Um, these typically run you about you know, $6 a car. So. Got another one here. So again, that one's there is from the uh, Demolition Derby. A little forklift guy. And um, Roscoe. Pretty cool. Um, little castings if you like Disney stuff or pick them up for your kids just at this price point they're cheaper than at the dollar store so again um, just a quick view of those and then the last item we got up is going to be a uh, track set here so um, we're gonna set this up and we'll we'll do a video of this my daughter wants to see what she can do on this track set so you can see it uh, features the um, rotating tractors and whatnot, so we'll get this all set up and uh, we'll, uh, we'll review this on camera. It's a neat little set. Um, you can see here um, you have a few ways that you can actually set it up. So um, there's one, and then you got, you got your one, two, and then the third option is the last one. So this should be a pretty fun little project to do. 
Um, like I say, my daughter wants to do it, so once uh, we have a little bit of time, we'll get this all set up, and me we'll, and her will do a video for you guys. Okay, so up next we have, uh, this is a 118 scale, um, the Monkey's Mobile. Um, everybody that collects will probably know what this is, but um, it is the um, GTO, and this is heavily detailed. Um, this is done by Ertl. So it features, um, these are rubber tires, all metal, plastic interior, but like you can see here, it actually features seats that move. Um, the hood does open on this, but um, it's just heavily detailed. I took it out of the box here, but we're actually gonna keep this stored in the box. It's re in really good shape, the box itself. Um, the gentleman I bought this from stored this quite well, but it's um, very cool. You can see the exhaust pipes here coming out the side. Um, just uh, the attention to detail. Um, if you can find these for a reasonable price, these tend to go for quite a bit of money as well. Um, people like to um, ask anywhere, I'd say from 100 to 140 bucks for it. Um, so if you can pick them up for anything um, reasonable, it's definitely worth it. Um, but the amount of detail that goes into these castings is quite astonishing. Um, like in order to have moving seats and stuff like that, really no manufacturers do that. All right, this is also a 118 scale, 1960 uh, Chevrolet Impala. So this is from uh, American Graffiti. So um, lots of people know that uh, show. And uh, this one here is made by Motormax. So a different manufacturer. The other one was Ertl. But um, these are very nicely detailed as well. Um, they feature rubber tires as well. You can see the American Graffiti logo on the side. Opening hood. Um, heavily detailed interior from the dash to the seats um, opening doors trunk has the impala on the side and the trim um, just an overall amazing casting these are plastic on the bottom um, gives you all the detail of the of the car in front of you on the back paperwork so this one's going to stay in the package as well just because these are too large for me to really display out but um, they are just nicely detailed. That's what I like about the large scale is that you can get a very nicely detailed vehicle um, with opening parts and everything like that um, that you just really can't get in a 164 scale. It's just too hard to do. Um, but this vehicle was pretty mint. Um, these do hold their value as well. Um, they're not gonna be as much as the previous one that you saw that was by Ertl. Um, but these typically are going to be in the $50, $60 range probably for these castings. All right, last of the 118 scale, um, this is actually the last item I have, is going to be from Maisto. So it's a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, this one's, these um, series are pretty nice. Um, it's their um, Urban Diecast Collection Rides. So um, they're always kind of souped up vehicles. You can see it's like lowered has a suicide door there, has a big uh, stereo in the back, nicely detailed interior all the way up to the, um, it's got a visor, the steering wheel's done, gauges, even has chrome pedals, shifter. Um, these are really nice um, detail. They all have opening parts, so obviously the front opens. It's got lights, chrome bumpers, the engine bay is done as well so I'll try to get that in the camera there um, just the attention to detail on these is, is awesome um, these ones here are rubber tires as well and they feature an all-metal body plastic base um, these are going to be a bit cheaper than what you saw with the other ones um, these are still going to come in typically anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars for this these particular ones in this size. They seem to hold their value, um, but they're heavily detailed. So if you like these and um, like Volkswagen stuff and vans and all that, um, the detailing you get in this for this price range is not too bad. Um, the other ones are gonna be much more money to um, to get those. Um, you're gonna at least be in the, in the $100 range for a lot of that stuff if you can find it. Um, this was a lot uh, a deal that I got, so. 
I didn't pay that much or I wouldn't have got them. But just when you're out looking, you're probably going to be in that price range. So if you see any of these um, much lower than that um, and you like it, definitely pick it up. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, hopefully everybody enjoyed the content. This was kind of all over the place, random stuff that I found. Um, we got more videos coming. We're going to do a couple uh, Hot Wheels tracks. We got the Disney car track set to do. Um, there's any content that any of you would like to see. I mean, you can leave a comment below. I have tons of stuff to go over. Um, I get new stuff coming in every week. So anything that you want to see, I may have it. If not, I might come across it. Um, and if there's any vehicles or anything you want to see in a little more detail or anything like that, we can we can make that happen too. So um, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.